Lightning Rod at Dollywood opened in 2016 as the world's first launched wooden coaster, and it was also the world's fastest wooden coaster, but it will not be holding those records for long, as Lightning Rod will no longer be a fully wooden roller coaster. As you guys probably know, Lightning Rod has had tons and tons of downtime since it opened, and a lot of that was first due to the launch, but then they figured that out by slowing it down slightly, and then they discovered another issue, the track. Lightning Rod has fairly heavy trains, as well as super aggressive transitions, and the wooden track was just tearing itself apart. Dollywood did progressively retrack the coaster, which helped a little bit, but they needed a permanent solution. So they got in touch with Lightning Rod's manufacturer, Rocky Mountain Construction, and they discussed a deal and how it could help the coaster. They found out that if they were to pl replace some of the troubled sections on Lightning Rod, mainly the first drop and the final overbank turn, with their eye box track that could really help out the coaster's reliability, and they chose to do that. So towards the end of the 2020 season, Dollywood shut down the ride, and they put out a sign in front of the coaster's entrance saying how it would be closed for the rest of the year. That sign also included a little saying that said, in 2021, lightning strikes twice, which turned out just to be a cool saying and that it didn't mean anything, but that sign said a lot. At the time that the coaster closed and that the sign was put up, nobody knew what that meant, but we would quickly learn, as during an American Coaster Enthusiast event at Dollywood, the park shared what they were doing to the world-class wooden coaster. So now we knew what was going to happen to Lightning Rod. At this point in time, it is still not confirmed how much of the track is going to be replaced, but since Dollywood is still open, people have gotten pictures of the coaster, and it seems that the final overbank turn and some of the launch section are completely under construction. Now, at the time of recording, I've ridden a few RMCs, three in fact, and Lightning Rod is one of them, and I absolutely love this coaster. Many people think that the iBox track will negatively impact the ride, but I disagree. I don't really feel a major difference between the iBox track and the wooden track, but that may just be me. And I know that a lot of people find some sections on Lightning Rod to be pretty rough. I did not, and I thought it was glossy smooth, but this retrack will really help out those people and will probably push it even higher into most people's top tens. But that's gonna wrap up this video. What do you guys think of the slight conversion that is happening to Lightning Rod at Dollywood? Let me know in the comments down below, but be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.